Hey guys, today I'm here to do a Tiffany's Tell All question and I asked you guys on my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Instagram uh, what questions you wanted me to answer. You guys left a lot of great questions. I'm going to answer one today and I will get through all of them. I do want to address something that someone asked. It was um, elegantly wasted asked, how am I avoiding the comments thing um, all being disabled? And I have no idea. Um, I have no control over it. And I think it's mainly because we're not a full vlogging family channel. I do have other things on my channel other than just family stuff or kids stuff. So I have a feeling that's the reason why, but I'm not sure. I have noticed in previous videos that there are comments disabled on some videos and I have noticed a decrease in comments over the last little while. So it has affected my channel just probably not as greatly as some other channels. So anyways, I will get into today's question. So today's question comes from Rich 78 What jobs have you had before becoming a mother? Oh, by the way, I love your beautiful long thick hair. Well, thank you. Um, sometimes it's a pain in the butt, but I do love it too. So I thought this was an interesting question because I'm not sure if I've answered it. I've talked about schooling and that type of thing, but I've never actually answered if I've actually had a real job. I do consider YouTube as my job, even though it's not like a full-time job. So I have had two jobs in the past. My very first ever job was at a restaurant. I was a dishwasher or a bus girl or whatever you want to call it. I did that along with cleaning the cottages that the restaurant owners owned as well. They rented out cottages so I was doing that. So that was like my very first job. I think I was like 13, 14. My mom had become a waitress there and they were looking for a dishwasher so I got hired as the dishwasher there and I hated doing dishes hated it, but I love the food aspect of it and thought it was really cool. I learned a couple recipes from there and that type of thing. So um, that was my very first job ever. And then my second job, um, my first job was when we moved, lived at our childhood house and then we moved to here and I got a job at a hardware store about five minutes from here. And that's actually where I met Kevin, uh, our good friend Kevin. I'll have a couple videos linked if you haven't seen him. We went camping with him, uh, we were at their wedding and everything. So he's good friends with us now and it's funny because we actually were never like good friends. Hang on. Um, that's how I met Kevin and then also Amber, my maid of honor, also worked at the hardware store and we were both up at cash. So Kevin worked in the back in the lumber yard and then we worked up at cash and I knew Amber from school um, but I think we really got close when we started working together. So when we all left there, we kind of lost touch with Kevin and that and when Amber got married she had Kevin in her wedding party and that's how we got kind of reconnected. So yeah, I left there when I was actually seven or eight months pregnant with Michaela. So I did work all the way up until I was ready to go for maternity leave and I was 17 at the time. Yeah, those were my two jobs. I like the hardware store a lot better I think than the restaurant job. I've always been into that type of thing. I even wanted to be an architectural engineer. I did go through high school taking credits that were specifically based on like drawing um, with AutoCAD which is the program that we use to draw our house. Um, so I did take courses on that and that is kind of how, that's another question I wanted to answer in today's video. I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I know so much about building a house and for one, I didn't before this. I had no idea, well I did, I did. I knew a lot because my dad worked in construction all my life pretty much and I was always there, you know, doing things with him. For the most part, I didn't know anything and I've learned it from this point up. So. Probably about two years ago is when I started figuring out if we could build a house and I would just ask dad all the time. I would be on the phone with him saying, okay, what's the next step in building the house? Because I would need to calculate 
cost for building a house so I would need to know the steps so I think that was my first step in learning how to build a home was basically just asking the information researching taking the knowledge I already knew and applying it and actually sitting down figuring out a house so yeah I didn't know as much as I do now but I have learned so much through this process and even my dad has, uh, I want to say, he's been in construction for over 30 years and there's still things that are always constantly changing with building codes and all of that. So we've learned so much throughout this process and we could not be more excited to start hopefully in the spring as soon as the thaw is here. So um, I answered quite a few questions in this tell-all. I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments if there's a comment section. If not, Go back to my YouTube post and comment there and I will be answering all of the other questions in due time. So I guess I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.